number 15. This footage was supposedly taken from a submarine lurking somewhere in the Greenland Sea. The crew is so fascinated with a school of fish overhead that they fail to see a much rarer creature directly behind them. A large webbed hand that is roughly five times larger than any human's slaps the glass before pushing away. It's almost as if the humanoid creature was toying with the submarine crew and wanted to make its presence known. However, one thing bothers me about this video. If everyone is so interested in the school of fish passing above them, then why is the cameraman focusing on his crewmate's reaction instead of the fish? This video could very well be scripted and CGI, although it also wouldn't surprise me if it really was legitimate. Only the submarine crew knows for sure. When the dog jumps up to get a tennis ball, it pushes the blinds away and you can just barely make out half of an ape-like face looking into the window. If you still can't see it, then other YouTubers have slowed the video down and taken a screenshot. As you can see, something is clearly looking in on them. If this was just a reflection, then it should look like the back of a student's head, but it is clearly someone's face. It looks like it could be some sort of humanoid. Another possible explanation would be some sort of fake dummy or statue they placed outside of the window. Other people point out that the dog does not look frightened by the face at all, but then again, the dog might have been too focused on getting the ball to notice anything else. Also, if this video was fake, then the dog would have to be taught to jump up on the back of the couch just at the right time, which would be kind of hard to do. Plus, you don't hear or see any commandments given towards the dog. Overall, this video has a very natural feel. Number 14. Hina Tahir and her sister are camping in New Jersey's Double Trouble State Park when they notice a strange woman who is half submerged in a local lake. Her clothes are all white and she has a serious expression on her face as she sways in place. To this very day, the two girls aren't sure if what they recorded was a live person or a ghost. If it was a person, then I have absolutely no idea why they would be in the water. Well, fully clothed, and if it was a ghost, then maybe her body is lurking in the shadow waters below. Whatever the case may be, Hina and her sister decide to leave the woman in peace and dare not go any closer. Number 13. Downright Dives is a three-man team of dumpster divers who go through the trash looking for discarded valuables. They comb through a series of dumpsters without incident, mostly coming across old rotten food. They're searching through the last couple of dumpsters when one of them makes a startling discovery. No, 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 no. Guys, 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 guys. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Neither of his two friends believe that there could have been somebody lying at the bottom of the dumpster. They just have to take a closer look for themselves. That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. Oh, no. go, 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 go. The camera doesn't get a clean shot, but you can hear a man pop up from underneath the boxes and screams that he owns everything inside of the dumpster. According to the description, it was a homeless man who continued to come after them and even got into a physical altercation off camera. I'm on the fence with this one since we never get a chance to see the homeless person in question. Also, living in a dumpster is a stereotype about homeless people that is rarely true, so this encounter is very unlikely. Let me know if you agree. Number 12. Core Sun is a YouTuber who claims that his old apartment was haunted to the point where he had to leave. When he finally moved into a different location, it didn't take long for the spirits to follow him there too. Core Sun claims to have made this video after feeling a familiar presence watching over him while he was eating a meal. He studies the chair for a bit and decides to challenge the spirit's power. Okay. 
After this, he quickly ran upstairs and uploaded the video to YouTube. Granted, we could not see the entire chair from this angle, so I guess there could have been something wrapped around the chair legs to make it look like it was moving on its own. This would require another person to pull off though. And as far as I can tell, Kor's son was completely alone. We'll never know for sure, but I would like to hear your best guess as to the legitimacy of this video. A YouTuber named Michael D. McGee has been conducting paranormal experiments for years. Apparently, Michael summons a spirit who is willing to move things on his command. To prove this, Michael takes a metal fruit bowl full of apples and shows it to the camera. He says that whenever he concentrates and asks the ghost to move it for him, it does. After showing that there is no one else in the room and no strings on the floor or attached to the bowl, he places the fruit bowl down, making sure to keep himself in the frame the whole time. This supposedly is what he is able to get a ghost to do. Um, if there's... Again, I just wanted to stress that Michael insists that this is not telepathy, but rather an actual spirit who he is able to communicate with and give commands to. He has since been able to replicate this experiment with other objects. What separates this video from others is that there are clearly no strings attached. If this is fake, it's unclear as to how he is making these objects move. Number 11. A group of musician friends are jamming out in the woods in Oregon when a tiny creature suddenly attacks one of them in broad daylight. It's a bat! Holy The bat hits Derek on his shoulder with a dull thud and all of the instruments stop. Everyone watches in disbelief as the tiny creature climbs up his body and Derek can even feel its cold snout as it plants its tiny sharp teeth into his neck just inches away from the jugular vein. It, and then it just bit me. It latched onto his shoulder, then crawled up his neck. He throws the bat off and watches it fly into a tree, where it continues silently watching them from afar. They are freaked out at this point, but they think that it was just a freak occurrence and decide to play some more music. After the bat makes two more swipes at the man, however, his friend has had enough and shoots it with a BB gun. The group takes the bat corpse back to the local health department and has it tested. Sure enough, Derek had been bitten by a rabid bat. He had to get rabies shots for days afterwards. Athlete Chad is finishing up a camping trip with his family in Rexburg, Idaho, when he notices a large bear approaching his motorhome without fear. Soon it rears up on its hind legs to get a better look at what's inside the camper. Oh yeah. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, he's sliding the thing down! Hey, hey, no. Take it that, no, it no. Jeez. No, he'll rip it off! The YouTuber and his family manage to get away unharmed, but the teeth marks on their side view mirror will always remind them they came face to face with a wild animal in the woods. Number 10. Experts have yet to debunk a YouTube channel claiming to break the very boundaries of space and time. The channel features no less than eight videos taking place over the course of a year, which focus on a strange glowing device. The device apparently uses different tones and frequencies to experiment with interdimensional travel. Here you can see the first real signs of success from a video in 2017. There's fracture. Some sort of molecular rift opens between his very eyes and looks very convincing. The rift appears to move very realistically with the camera and does not look to be CGI. After a few months of research and careful adjustments, he finally figures out the correct combination of frequencies to open the rift wider than ever before. Again, nothing about this looks like CGI to me. The way the rift moves with the camera would have been very hard to digitize frame by frame in my opinion, especially when the camera goes out of focus at the 1 minute 50 second mark. Soon the edges of the rift grow thin and another world emerges. If this video is to be believed, then what you could be staring into is an alternate timeline of our own world. So far, video editing experts have yet to disprove this video, so let me know if you think it's fake or real based on what you've seen here. 
Number nine, a news team is reporting on a bank heist in Minnesota that happened yesterday when suddenly a bank employee comes flying out of the building, pointing out someone off camera. Tyler, just 24 hours ago, this bank in North... What? Oh, that's the robber. There's the bad guy right there. The banker says as he sprints towards the subject, who is getting into a van. As it turns out, a man named Ryan Lisko had just robbed the same bank two days in a row. The news team just happened to be there reporting the first incident, when the exact same thing unfolded for a second time right before their very eyes. Ryan was captured shortly thereafter and sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison. So fortunately, this probably won't happen a third time anytime soon. Number 8. This official YouTube video comes from Channel 4 News. In Britain, a news anchor called Tom Watson is reading off a teleprompter when something flies over the live green screen behind him. The parliament was misled by the company. And what this, what our committee is trying to do. Slow down the footage, and you can clearly see a white saucer descend across the city skyline. Some people have pointed out that this could be a drone, but this footage was taken in 2011, way before drones were publicly available. So I guess this was either a government-owned drone or an actual alien spacecraft. But we'll likely never know for sure. Number 7. A news reporter is doing a basic story about heavy traffic patterns in Gwinnett County, Georgia. When she stops and interviews a random person passing by, he politely comments about local transportation for a bit and then quickly goes on his way. The news reporter is later contacted by police for urgent questioning. A witness says that they saw a man rob a bank and then afterwards stop at a news van to conduct a short interview. The interview footage you see here, along with photos of a license plate and other surveillance footage, was enough for police to arrest him. They identified the man as Eric Rivers and quickly took him into custody. Number 6. The state line bridge connects Virginia to North Carolina, but locals call it Satan's Bridge due to the large amount of ritual activity going on under there. A YouTuber named Scary Weather made a documentary about it almost 20 years ago and recently came across the footage again. The first half of the video shows nothing but animal bodies littering the ground, which I can't show here. He then comes back the next day and videotapes all of the weird graffiti and other ritualistic scenes, like these five rocks for example. If you happen to know what this symbol means, or what enchantments were being cast here, then please share what you know, and also tell me what the white paint means here, because I honestly can't even begin to guess. Also you see here uh, five stones uh, with a white mark in them. This part of the bridge looks like it could be some sort of altar. There's a huge dark red stain on the ground that trails off into tiny blotches. Something tells me that's probably not paint, but let me know what you think. There's one last fact about this location that I have to tell you. Now, I'm not a numerical conspiracy theorist by any means, but the identification number of this state bridge happens to be 6906. If you take out the zero and flip the middle six, you get three sixes in a row. This old video was allegedly taken in 1988, then found in a remote log cabin decades later before making its way onto YouTube. An unseen cameraman is intently studying an open window when suddenly this happens. The window snaps shut just as a paranormal wail fills the entire forest and the camera goes blank. The quality of this video kind of looks digital to me, so this could be fake, but I'm not so sure. Maybe they were using a filter to make it look older. Let me know if you have the answer and also how you could tell. Number 5. This BBC broadcast picked up something so strange that they later asked viewers to call in if they saw it themselves. A news anchor is casually reporting on a normal news story when something very unusual zooms by the webcam in the background. With headlines, and did you spot something suspicious in the screen behind me? Have a look. Is it a bird? 
Is it a plane? Just what is it? I personally wouldn't be surprised if it was a bug. Somebody else mentioned that it could be light reflecting off of an overhead aircraft on a cloudy day. Let me know if you think these two possible explanations seem reasonable. The Kaiser Report is an English-speaking news show based out of Moscow, Russia. There's a moment during the 457th episode that captures a UFO zooming by overhead. Just so you understand the implications of what this could mean for the world and the global agricultural food supply. Some people claim that this is a bird, while others say that this is way too fast. I'm not sure if this is a bird or something else, but when you slow the footage down, you can clearly see that it has the shape of a saucer. Number four, Ethan Menard and his friend are out exploring when they find a long tunnel that gives off a creepy vibe when they are commenting on how dark the tunnel is and just trying to keep calm in general when suddenly a small child's voice chimes in somewhere behind them. The timing of this creepy small voice is quite a curious and morbid coincidence. It simply says hello at just the right moment during a pause in their conversation. It's like pitch black in here. Whether this was real or edited is up for you to decide, but I think there is a strong chance that something paranormal was down there. This video is from a camping trip that Emery Buckner and his friends took back in 2010. After introducing each of his friends by name, something catches Emery's eye. He zooms in on a small clearing in the woods that's just up ahead, and that's when he sees it for the first time. Guys, what is that? What's what, bro? Seriously, guys, there's hey, something. I, really, I seriously saw something over there. None of his friends manage to see it, but Emery encourages them to stay still and keep looking. Then, sure enough, the red glowing eyes return. What? Oh my gosh! What is that? Yeah, that dude, oh my that's God. it. That's it. I t oh my gosh! Oh. oh. Uh, they waste little time retreating to their boat and speed away to safety. But just before they take off. Emery catches the creature a final time. It's now casually observing the group. While perched in a tree, its head cocked to the side, its faint outline barely visible behind a pair of glowing red eyes. Number 3. This 1994 video footage was recovered somewhere in the South American country of Paraguay. The footage itself is just some kids hanging out together late at night, but the audio is completely messed up and sounds like something straight out of the underworld. More than one viewer has said they've heard subliminal messages from this video, which is little more than a series of 5 second clips pasted together. At one point, we see a disjointed figure standing in a strange pose, followed by this deep noise. I guess the sound could be distortion from an aged tape, but in my opinion, it almost sounds like a possession at times. Let me know if you agree that there's something sinister about this video, and if any of these kids could have had a spirit lurking inside of them. Number 2. NASA scientists are in the middle of conducting a 9-hour space experiment when this strangely haunting static fills their ears. NASA experts describe the noise only as complex signals. They think it could be anything from equipment vibrations to gravity waves, but I think it sounds like it could be some radio signal from another galaxy. Many believe that some kind of life form was trying to contact us, and I agree that's a definite possibility, especially considering the sound was only heard for a single minute and never again. Either way, the mysterious sound you've just heard was recorded in 2014 and has been baffling experts ever since. No clear explanation has ever been provided, so I'd like to get yours if possible. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week.
If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out number one. I think it's alive. I don't know what it is. It does look like from the top of it like it's breathing or something. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This is the reaction of a YouTuber named Thomas Wall after he and a friend encounter this strange round mass in the water. They are somewhere in Godridge, Ontario. A person in the video's comments section claims to recognize the location and says it's near a local nuclear power plant. I couldn't find any more information about this, so I'd like to know if there is a power plant nearby and if this could be the result of a nuclear pollution. Either way, I do see what Thomas is talking about when he says air bubbles form at the center of the circle. Let me know if you think this is a living creature or just some sort of naturally occurring optical illusion. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!